My name is Dino Butron. I'm an applications engineer at Hamatsu. Today I'll be talking about simulating nonlinearity in photon counters, specifically silicon photomultipliers, or SIPM for short. A SIPM is a sensor that can detect individual photons. It's made up of microcells that each discharge millions of electrons when a photon is detected. Nonlinearity refers to the deviation of the output signal from what you would expect as you increase the light levels. This is caused by the, num the finite number of microcells and the recovery time that each microcell needs to recharge its gain and sensitivity after it's been fired. And so our customers want to know where the output becomes nonlinear because a big part of what our customers are trying to do is to quantify precisely how many photons they're getting. Traditionally, we relied on an equation, which is an analytical approximation, but it's limited because it doesn't account for the beam shape and size. And microcells can also refire before they're fully recovered and noise sources can also cause microcells to fire. So these are all factors that are unaccounted for. So we set out to model the SIPM down to the individual microcell. With this approach, we expect nonlinearity to be an inherent property of the model right out of the box. We use distributions.jl pretty extensively to distribute the photon positions in the X and Y direction, as well as generating Poisson distributed random photon counts. For simulating the readout circuits, we're using acme.jl. And we use a few other packages as well, such as xlsx.jl to import experimental data from spreadsheets, and Pluto and plots.jl to interact with the simulation and observe the results, as you can see from these examples. Microcell recovery is modeled as a first order RC circuit, which is fairly simple to implement in native Julia. And so finally, I'll show you some results from our simulation. First, we have pretty good agreement between the simulation and the analytical equation for the ideal case of uniform illumination. But most of the time, our customers don't have uniform illumination across the active area. So the blue line is a result when we simulate with a narrow Gaussian beam, which is more representative of real world conditions. When we simulate a pulse width that's equal to the recovery time, we see that the analytical equation is underestimating the signal because it doesn't account for microcells refiring. And finally, microcells can fire due to correlated noise like crosstalk and afterpulse, which makes the nonlinearity worse. And this is also an effect that was not previously captured by the equation. So we demonstrated a silicon photomultiplier simulation in Julio by leveraging existing packages. And we're using this at Almatu to more accurately predict nonlinearity. The simulation is also much faster than our previous implementation in Python.